Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bizalot. It is Thursday, November, I believe it's November 29th. So Thursday, November 29th. I am bringing you guys an auction preview for this weekend. The auction will be on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Auctions for You. So it's the word auctions, the number four, the letter U. On, it will be on T's channel on Auctions for You at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be having it from my warehouses here in Pennsylvania. And then on Sunday, we will be having the auction on this account, on Mr. Buys A Lot, on my YouTube channel. And we will run from about 12. If you guys want to come in around 12, we're going to start wrenching people from my auctions. Uh, we're going to start at 12.30 promptly, and it'll probably run until about 8 o'clock, hopefully. I have decided that we are selling a ton of stuff um, I got a call yesterday afternoon right before I left asking if somebody could stop by. They stopped by. I wound up buying everything in their truck. So this video is kind of an apology. Sorry, guys. It looks like a big mess in here, but the auction should turn out to be awesome because the stuff I bought from them yesterday is going to be sold at the auction. So I'm not going to have time to look through it. My workers aren't going to touch it. They're not going to look through it. I'm going to try to straighten it up a little bit to get rid of the trash but there's some really good stuff. Let me give you guys a preview. Obviously, everything you've seen in the other videos is gonna to come tomorrow as well, or on Saturday, I'm sorry. It will come on Saturday, November 31st, at the auctions for you, and then on Sunday, November 1st, on Mr. Buys Lot. So there are some vintage Fiesta Ware dishes, and I'm gonna walk you guys around to the pile that I just bought. I pulled items for shipping for tomorrow because we got to get that done. We're coming in early to do that. We started making up some trays for you guys. Uh, as you can see, this is really cool, like vintage spun lucite purse from the 50s. Uh, this is another old purse, an old lizard skin wallet, stuff like that. But check this out. I filled my mail bin with stuff. Uh, this is a case of... G.I. Joe statues like the old 1960s G.I. Joes they apparently made some kind of porcelain statues got a case of them um, these are actually really really good there's a case of these figures uh, they are Lego Bionicle figures they're they're really good this whole box is full of ephemera and you know old superhero stuff see you can still see price stickers so I'm gonna bring this to the auction I don't want to have to take the time to go through it um, other than to pull out anything that I know is trash but you know 1960s books and dead stock there's actually a case of those somewhere there's you know walking dead figures there's a um, oh, an accordion in that box there these are really funky these are like boot roller skates called pop wheels check these out these are vintage these are made in Italy look at this it's like this giant clog with wheels with the original bags those are cool there's a beta tape of Prince and the Revolution there is a ton of really neat uh, there's a bunch of wrapped up stuff there is a bunch of books like Disney books that are really good like this art of Disney books really good but 16 magazine with the Beatles, the monkeys, um, a bunch of vintage magazines, Vamprilla. Yeah, here's a bunch of wax pack wrappers that are vintage, like 60s or like 70s, probably 70s and early 80s. Sports, hockey, football, non-sports. So I bought all of this last night that you see there. So I'm going to bring it straight to the auction. There's some more Fiesta wear down there. And let me take you back. That's not all I bought. I bought more. <laughs> it just happens to follow me around or people call me. Uh, obviously, it's very hectic here because I'm trying to get ready for the auction. There's more of the statues. But look at all these cases, guys. All these cases are... Um, Original, most of them are hardcover, and there's a few soft cover, like thicker ones, but check this out. Awesome book of bugs. 
So these are all like fan, uh, not fanzines, like graphic novels. There's Popeye. There's Barbie books. There's and these are the hardcover ones, not the, not the soft cover stuff. Here's some, like, here's an awesome hardcover monster book, Unsleeping Dead. So these books are really awesome. Um, some of them are very valuable, but because I bought them yesterday, like you can see, there's Haunted Horror. There's Popeye. Sit down there. They say Popeye. There's Felix the Cat. Um, there's a bunch of horror ones like Voodoo, Haunted Love, more Popeye. So all of these cases are full of old stock graphic novels in mint shape. So that's going to come to the auction also. hope that's kind of exciting to you guys. I bought them. We're going to sell them to you guys. I'm not going to take any time to do anything else tomorrow other than to make lots for you guys. Here's some of the Shackman stuff I brought down. I've had a bunch of people asking about that. Like these are original packets of Shackman decorations and Shackman um, Victorian. I guess I would call them like scrapbooking. You know, Shackman made all kinds of different stuff. They made, they even made like baby dolls and stuff. Um, they went out of business in I think the late 80s, early 90s era. I don't know what's in there, but. Whatever it is, we'll open the case on during the auction and sell it to you guys because I don't have scissors on me and I'm just trying to make a quick video for you guys. Again, the auction will be this weekend. You guys have seen. These are all sports cards I brought. This is an actual shirt worn and made for Kevin Garnett of the Celtics, the basketball player. This was his. We have a bunch of sports cards. We have, let me see if I can open one of these boxes. I just grabbed some boxes from the other warehouse. Um, I'm probably going to use this size flat rate box so I know exactly how much it's going to be to ship it to you and fill it. That box will hold about 3,000 cards. But as you guys can see, there's going to be old and new sports cards. Let's see right here. Uh, open. So look at this. Here's a box that has like some older cards in it. So I'm going to do these in some lots. These are 68 tops. Those are 69 or 70. I think that's 71 with the black border. And here these are, I want to say that's 61. So there's 50s and 60s cards. And here these are all vintage. cards and then they go up into like 73 I think oh those are 72 tops those are 73 and it goes to like 75 and then these are football and basketball from the 70s I'm gonna make lots I'm not sure yet if I'm just gonna put them on trays so that you guys can get an idea of what's there or if we're just gonna fill a box like this and sell the whole thing you guys saw the the uh, the rookies, you know, the Tony Gwynns, the George Brett, Cal Ripken Jr., Ozzie Smith, uh, Mattingly, uh, here's a 75 Pete Rose, you know, there's some really early Nolan Ryan. so we're going to add these into some of the lots, make the lots good for you guys. Uh, there's an 89 Upper Deck Griffey in one of the boxes I saw, and then I haven't even opened any of these. These are from the million card uh, storage unit that I bought. And then there's boxes of random Barbie stuff around. And I brought this from the other warehouse to show you guys. So there's going to be a ton of stuff. One of our featured pieces is going to be this. This is an original Boris Karloff autograph with a certificate over there. Super cool. Monster photos. Uh, if you guys are into monster stuff. That's a fantastic piece. If I can figure out how to ship this thing, maybe I will just for uh, for you guys. It is dead stock inside. It's like minty. And these sell really good. One of the big blow molds. You guys saw in the thumbnails that we're going to do the Structo Wrecker. What you didn't see is that it has the original box. So there's a ton of stuff, guys. Um, I know this should be exciting for you. 
Let's let's show it. Uh, this came out of that store I bought with all the really vintage clothing. So they had a bunch of like costume jewelry and you know this is probably a 1930s deco watch. There's there's some really good jewelry in here. Uh, some costume. There might be some sterling. So some real neat stuff in there. So we're gonna make lots up of that right on camera while you guys are bidding and let you buy. Uh, I just wanna sell stuff. I am a little overwhelmed this week. It's supposed to not be here today, but I'm here anyway, trying to get all the items pulled so we can ship early in the morning so that all day tomorrow we can prep the auction. I want the auction to move along so we can get you know, 10, 12, 15 items an hour at least. And I'm gonna introduce you guys to a new auction style for my next auction. So just a heads up, uh, something you guys haven't seen before here on YouTube, and I think I wanna bring it to you guys just to mix things up and do something a little different. But we're gonna have fun. Um, there's great stuff in these boxes. And I bought it last night at almost eight o'clock, 7.30. So it was dark outside. I really didn't look through it. But hopefully you guys are excited. I am. I hope that you guys get great, amazing deals. Because I want to turn my YouTube channel into uh, doing some auctions and doing auction collabs with Auctions For You. And we just want to bring you guys a bunch of great stuff so that you guys don't have to go out and source when the weather's bad or during the pandemic or anything like that. I don't care what the stuff brings, so if I make a profit, you know, and, I, and I'm very upfront with everybody, um, you know, this deal cost me, with the books and everything, cost me right at $3,000, and uh, we're going to gamble and try to sell it to you guys, and uh, you guys will get some amazing stuff. There's some, There are some bootleg VHSs, but the bootleg ones that I know of in here are, there's a bunch of like... I don't know if they're self-recorded or um, home-recorded VHS of rock and roll concerts back in the 70s and 80s. So I don't know if that stuff's good or not. If it's not, you guys don't bid on it, I'm going to throw it in the dumpster. So it's it's that simple because I don't want to deal with VHS tapes if they're no good, and I don't know if they're good, so I'm going to let you guys make that determination for me. But everything else there was some really great stuff you can see there's actually more sports cards in here i uh, see some like 70s early 80s stuff in there uh there's some old newspapers Th there's some really really cool stuff there's a bunch of really great magazines um i saw these these were super cool i was actually kind of excited about these look at this this is like a 1940s or 50s like precision scale um architect scale men on the package yet it's i just thought it was neat there's a box with a bunch of those in it so hopefully you guys are excited uh we are going to bring the heat i am going to bring you guys some great great stuff you know regardless of value i am bringing it to you um the lower value stuff i'm going to put in nice size lots or at least if i don't know about it it's also going to go in lots like mugs I know there's a bunch of people selling mugs right now, so I figured, hey, as we were walking around the warehouse, all of the mugs went onto one tray. My favorite one was this really cool one with, like, it almost looks hand-painted. But it's made in Japan somewhere. But lots of cute little stuff. Humane Society with doggies. I'm an accountant, not a magician. You know, just neat stuff. So I hope you guys will be there. We're going to also be doing comic books at the auction, sports cards, there's going to be casino chips. You name it, we got it, we're going to sell it to you. And uh, T's going to be in pretty much total control of what I'm handing her and what the starting bid's going to be. So I'm not going to have any say-so over that because she knows how much it is to ship to you guys. A lot of you are buyers of hers already. And we're going to take her word for it and dig through. I'm hoping you guys can help me. So please help me. We need to get rid of all these movie posters. This giant pile of stuff I just bought. Right here. The stuff we made on these trays. A bunch of those books. These are all packages that I've either bought from other auctions or whatnot that are still closed. We're going to open those up and sell, it, 
to you directly. Um, so I don't know what's in those packages, to be honest. Here's a bunch of cards. We're going to try to get rid of those. And this whole table of awesomeness. And there is some really amazing stuff on this table. So there's some plushies. And then we're going to get rid of the books. And I'm hoping to do all that on Saturday. I know T's going to watch this video and she's going to be like, are you insane? There's no way we're going to do it. But guys, we're going to try. We're going to try to sell you a bunch of stuff. And then on Sunday on my channel, I have a bunch of people asking for the vintage clothing and the Shackman die cuts and uh, the Victorian like die cut stuff. So we're going to do that. And we're going to get some toys together. I'm going to see if I can pull some games. If I have any video games laying around, we're going to bring those on Sunday. Um, so you guys can see that we just have a ton of stuff. And hope you're excited. I'm excited. Be here. I'll actually be at auctions for you on Saturday, October 31st, from 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time until whenever it ends. And then my channel, Mr. Buys a Lot, on YouTube on Sunday, November 1st, from 12-ish noon until whenever it ends. So I hope to see you guys there. Mr. Buys a Lot, signing off.